What up, guys? Phil here. Hush, tweet. What up, guys? Phil here today. Um, been trying to get my uh, crepe myrtle bow. Sorry about the uh, mulcher or whatever's going on over there, but been trying to get my uh, crepe myrtle bow built, but it turned out it was too green. So I decided, you know, just so I could throw another video out, I'd talk about my uh, crossbow I built. This is a PVC crossbow, at least the bow part is, that I built from scratch. And uh, as you can see, that uh, tiller is uh, way beyond what it should be. I'm pretty proud with this. This is pretty strong. It's one inch PVC. Um, it's pretty fast. Of course, I tacticaled it out. I made it into a uh, M16 design, obviously. It's, uh, I basically put my M16 airsoft gun on here and traced out pattern on wood and uh, did it. I don't have any uh, routers or anything like that. So I actually laminated two pieces of quarter inch oak, quarter inch oak on the outside, quarter inch oak on this outside, and a half inch pine on the inside and squeezed it all together and glued it. That way I was able to uh, just leave the oak part hollow right here in between the uh, red oak and uh, leave the pine, yeah, don't, don't, don't put the pine here and it gave me a cavity in between the two quarter inch pieces of red oak. And I'll get in there and show you all the gears and stuff later, but basically it's just like a, uh, when you put it up there, the profile is just like an M16. The red dot's just for funny. I took that off my airsoft gun as well. And, uh, but it gives you a reference point when you put it up there. Everything feels natural. And uh, we'll go over there and shoot it. And then I'll uh, break it out and uh, show you the uh, components. Stuff like that. That would have sucked if it went off. I built me a safety in there, so when it's back, it won't the trigger won't pull. You slide that safety forward, and you can uh, shoot it. It's got all kind of neat stuff on the inside, but we'll go see how it performs first. All right, stick with me. All right, so I'll be uh, shooting at that Duck Dynasty target over there. And that, this is only about 12 yards. I was mistaken. Idly, when I was saying that was 25 yards in my other videos, um, it's actually 50 feet. <laughs> So I can't even hit the target good from 50 feet. But anyway, turn her up to her full potential here. All right. Okay, I can see the dot now. Let's see. We'll go with a. Uh, we'll go with a field point first. I made it to where that uh, cock feather will go down. It fits in that groove just like that. Okay, let's see. Let's see what she'll do. I haven't adjusted my sight since I've shot her last. Okay, it's significantly more powerful this time. So I'll have to just aim down from that dot. And just grab her and pull her back. Ready to go. Stick her in. Damn, right on the same spot. Look at that. I'm way high. I gotta adjust my sight or I guess just go back a little further. I'll aim at the bottom of the target this time and see what happens. There we go. All right, now to get dangerous. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm happy with that. It's still a little sluggish, but what do you expect? I see this is dangerous as shit. I'm tr trying to figure out how to get that in there all the way without cutting my fingers off. All right, now for the Zwicky. Zwicky again. Ooh, 
just very, very close. And now the, uh, this guy. He's probably going to end up channeling my uh, bow out a little bit more for me, so that might be a good thing. <laughs> All right, let's go check that out. That's pretty heavy. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hush dogs. Alright. These were the first two shots. And then these are all, well, one of these is not a broadhead, but that one is. Those are uh, 135 grain. 135 grain. 125 grain. And 125 grain. So. Not too bad. So that's how that worked. Let's see. Okay, you can see that, huh? All right, so these just screw in there. And that holds my uh, working part. That's that's the hinge, the pivot point for my uh, trigger and my uh, release. Now this is the window. These screws are for the window. Oops. Got that guy already, obviously. And so it's just four, well, six screws if you count the ones in the middle. That's what I liked about it because those screws actually held the, help. So that's six screws that hold your little window on here. Now, when you got your window, that releases what's actually going on in there. Now, see, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> This is a piece of aluminum, and it was actually, I think I got the other part of it. Well, it's in here somewhere. It's just a little piece of aluminum about this long, about that big, and it's a quarter inch thick, maybe. And uh, cut this design out of the trigger. Let's see, that, that's what the trigger looks like. Just a uh, trigger up here. Then down there, it's got a and got a spring to a screw eye, screw to screw eye in back here. And uh, this is a uh, spring out of a big pin. I uh, drilled me a hole there and put a screw right, put a screw right here to hold that spring. It's tied to there, and then I just used wire to hold that. But that's a big pin spring, and uh, this is a uh, spring out of one of my airsoft guns. It was a uh, what spring is that? One of the gears gearbox springs. I don't remember which one that is right now, but that goes to that. It wasn't long enough, so I just added a little piece of a uh, line here, a little eighth inch uh, paracord line to a uh, to a. Uh, um, just a little piece of metal that I put here for that line to catch. That way, every time you, uh, when you pull the trigger, it releases. That rolls forward, dumps the string out, and as soon as it dumps the string out, it comes back, and then your trigger catches it again. See? So when you pull the string back, it comes up and over, locks in, then it's ready to go. All you gotta do is hit it, choom, and it lets go. Now obviously this is just two flat washers, 
is a flat washer on this side where I cut in like this and uh, cut in here with my file. I did the same thing on the opposing side. So that way you got a flat washer on each side like this with a notch in it and that uh, aluminum's in the middle so when you let it go it, it drops it and uh, just pin those in with a nail and beat it over. Now the uh, aluminum on the inside is round here. It's round here. It follows this washer dimension. But it comes up here and the aluminum on the inside goes like this. It's cut right here and it's cut back like this. And then on top it's just cut straight across. So I can uh, incorporate that. And then my arrows um, wherever I put them. So then my arrows, when they come in, they fit right under that, right there. And the notch actually matches up perfect with that. And uh, makes it pretty efficient in that, that respect. Then when you let it go, wham, she gone. So uh, this right here, let me zoom out just a bit. This is banded material. I just added to it. And... Uh, which worked out pretty good. Uh, let's see what else. That's basically it. Now my trigger works like this. See, I got this little piece of wood. Let me zoom back in. My uh, safety, I mean. Come on, focus in on that, dude. You know you can do it. There you go. All right. All right, so I got this little piece of wood here. This is a duplex nail right here. This little piece is a duplex nail. I cut the head off of it. It's got the secondary head in there. And then just drilled a hole in, you know, to accept that right here through the pine wood. And actually through this trigger guard too. The safety actually holds my trigger in. And that that's cut right through there. This is banded material, banded material uh, trigger guard. I drilled a hole through the nail to stick this other nail in there. And this other nail allows me to drag this nail back. The secondary head of that nail catches this wood and keeps me from pulling down on the trigger and releasing that, that's this thing. See, with that there, that won't roll forward. You move that out of the way, and then that will roll forward. So that works out good, because this, this powerful is, I mean, it's not super, super, super powerful, but it will definitely kill you. If I, you let it so stop damn I hope that wasn't out of focus that whole time but uh, anyways so if that was out of focus here it is again and uh, that's it all put back together so these uh, rails came off my airsoft gun uh, G36 rails or something diamond tactical you know cheap airsoft stuff and uh this uh, grip makes it pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool and tactical. Tactical. Tacta awesome is what that is. What? <laughs> but uh, yeah, banded material here. Got the bow attached with banded, one strip of banded material. And when I say banded material, I mean the stuff like when you, you know, if you get a pallet in or something and it's banded down tight to the pallet with this metal. And uh, same stuff I made that other bow out of. So, uh, let me do a review on my little bow first because that thing's funny and awesome. So, uh, all right, that's it. This is the uh, Filibuster 2000. <laughs> I don't know what it is. This thing's good. But, uh, anyways, like, subscribe, give me some comments, and uh, <laughs> peace.